Hey guys, how you all doing? In today's video, I will show you how to add more LAN ports to your existing router. So a few days ago, I bought this Mi Router 3C. Here's the box. Now, this is from Xiaomi. And didn't realize that this router has only two LAN ports. As you can see, it has only two LAN ports and there's the WAN port for your internet connection. And this is a problem because I have at least five devices which plug in into the local area network and previously I was using this router this is a Netgear router but unfortunately this one has stopped working so that's the reason I bought this but unfortunately this one has only two LAN ports and one more problem with these two LAN ports is that they support only up to 100 megabits per second so I need at least a gigabit ethernet port so if you're in a situation like this where you need more of these LAN ports, you can go ahead and buy a Ethernet switch. So this is the one that I bought. This is an 8 port gigabit easy smart switch from TP-Link. TLSG108E is the model number and this one has 8 LAN ports. So all you need to do is plug in a LAN cable from this and it goes, in one of, it goes into one of these ports and then you can connect all your devices to this and it will have access to internet and local area network. And one positive point about this switch is that it's a gigabit switch. So you do get much faster uh, transfer speeds. All right, so let's unbox this and see what's inside the box. And if you want this exact switch, the link is down in the video description. You can buy it off Amazon. So we do have a CD, this one comes with configuration utility and you have the installation guide. The installation for switch is very simple, I'm no ex network expert but I know how to install these. So the installation is very simple, you can see the WAN cable is going into the WAN port of the router and you can now plug in a LAN cable into the LAN port. Of your router which goes into the number one port in the uh, gigabit switch and then you can plug in as many devices as you want so this is the switch itself very nice industrial design made up of metal look at that looks absolutely amazing so if you have a 10 megabit or 100 megabit connection this bright LED will glow and if you have a gigabit ethernet connection this green LED should glow so yeah other than that this thing is very compact let's see what else we get inside the box we have a power adapter this thing runs on 9 volts so this thing runs on 9 volts 0.6 amps and we have these mounting pads and nothing else, there is no LAN cable or anything provided with the box. So let's go ahead and set this thing up. Alright, so this switch is plug and play. That means you plug in all your cables and it will start working right away without any additional configuration. So this cable, which is plugged in into the port number 1 on the switch, is going into the router. You can see it over there. It's going into the Xiaomi router port number one and here also it's plugged in into the one number one port on the network switch and I'm sorry about the mess guys I know it's a little bit messy I will clean this up in a while so this number two cable is plugged in into my gaming PC inside my room this one's plugged in into the printer this one's going into the smart TV this one's going into the media center PC and and this one is going into my parents room so everything is working fine you can see I am streaming a video game from my uh, gaming PC onto the media center PC and no frame drops or anything everything is working fine alright guys time to do a speed test on the network switch and by the way this switch acts as if it is a part of the router so DHCP is disabled on the switch by default so if you want to change any settings like assign a static IP you'll need to do it through your router so you'll need to access the router's web page and do it from over there I've just assigned a static IP address to my printer so that does not forget anyways let's do a speed test I'm gonna copy I'm gonna cut these 
two videos it's about 2.80 gigabytes i'm going to paste it on my pc which is inside the room so i'm copying from my media center pc as you can see media center onto my uh, desktop pc which is inside my room as you can see transfer speeds are pretty good you can see and this is one advantage of uh, any a gigabits which get crazy fast transfer speeds and if I was doing it on the Xiaomi router I would get around 10 to 11 megabytes per second and this is going up to 90 alright so now I'm going to move these files back onto the media center PC so we'll be uploading from here onto the media center PC So around 66 and I think this is a limitation of the hard drive on the media center PC because that's a Western digital uh, green hard drive 2 terabytes so the transfer speeds are a little bit slow but nonetheless the router is working fine and the switch is also working fine all right guys thanks for watching this video and I think my cable management is a little bit better than it was before I will put zip ties onto these cables in a little while Anyways guys, the switch is working fine. It's been an entire day. No issues so far. So thank you for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys next time.